So you just made a viral TikTok video and you're like, how do I work smarter instead of harder? Look at that. You see that? It's like So you just made yourself a viral TikTok and you're like, I download this TikTok and now there's this watermark because I want to post this on YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels because I want to work smarter, not harder. Well, I'm going to show you exactly how you do this, the pro way of how you remove the TikTok watermark so you can use your content wherever you like. What up? My name is Peter and if you're anything like me, you made a viral TikTok and you made a TikTok within the platform itself. But because of TikTok and its own platform, it puts this watermark all over your videos so it has its own branding purposes. But I'm gonna show you exactly how you remove that. The easiest step is if you haven't watched my first video, all you need to do is just download a simple plugin or from a third party website, check out that video first. And the second method, which I'm gonna show you now, is you do this through Photoshop, Content Aware Fill, as, as well as use this in After Effects and a little bit of Premiere Pro. So what you wanna do is open up Adobe Premiere and I'm gonna show you the first way of how I do this. First way is you want to analyze your TikTok clip. As you can see the watermark here, it is here for a bit and then it moves down here. So there are two masks that you need to apply. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag and drop this TikTok onto my timeline. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and go to replace with After Effects composition. So what I want you guys to do is control D duplicate this layer because there are two watermarks you need to remove. I'm going to uh, hide my first layer and go to my second layer, go into the pen tool, and I'm going to click around my TikTok watermark right here. Next, I am going to click M, mask, and invert that. Go over to the right panel over here, content aware fill, generate fill layer. So all you need to do now is After Effects is analyzing that clip to see how it can auto-generate a fill layer similar to that of Photoshop and Content Aware Fill. It is the same thing, but within video format. And then once you let After Effects do its thing, as you can see here, that watermark in the beginning is now gone. But now there's a watermark down here. Same thing you do is I'm gonna duplicate the layer and then I'm going to create generate fill layer. And assuming that you both clicked invert and your mask is inverted, so you're using After Effects to say that I want everything in this video except for the places that I don't select. And now as you can see, the watermark is gone. But there is a little bit more of a simpler workaround if you don't want to be in specifically After Effects. So let's close After Effects. So if you actually examine the TikTok watermark, you'll see that it moves right here and here. What that means is you have two reference points now. So I'm going to wait till it moves, create a screenshot of this, important to your project, and then I'm going to create a second screenshot where that watermark is not on the other side. So now I have two reference points. So you don't even need Photoshop. All you need to do is you have those two screenshots or screen export frames that you just made within Premiere and you just do the opposite. So in the beginning, you want the second clip where the screenshot where the logo is down here. All you need to do now is drag this across your entire video and you click your mask. I'm just gonna click the circle just so I know where that, it's just much more easier. And what I'm gonna do is just cover that watermark, just like that simple. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my first clip, put that on the very top, drag that all the way up, and I'm going to my effect controls, same thing, but I'm gonna draw that mask down here. And now, as you can see, increase the feather, those two screenshots that I just made, I made a mask out of it. Because the TikTok watermark moves, it's a perfect reference frame for you. 
So if you can see the magic behind this is there's one mask here and there's another mask up here from that original file. So if I just turn off the first two layers, yes, the watermark moves. But because I cover them up, look at that. You see that? It's like movie magic. But, you know, this is, isn't the one all and end all be all solution. There are certain things where if you're constantly moving the TikTok watermark, it's going to be hard to create reference frames and it's going to be a lot more work. These TikToks apply to when there's specifically not a lot of movement, especially with those watermarks. Then you can use them with things like Premiere, After Effects, and you can just do a content aware and you can remove that or just like how I showed you within Premiere Pro. So uh, there you guys have it. There are two examples of how you remove your TikTok watermark. One is through a third party website, but be careful, you're giving your information and there is always some sort of thing where you're like, is this company or website doing this for free? What's the catch? Are they downloading your information? Are you, you know, is that file safe? You know, you're never 100% sure because these are third party websites. So just be very cautious of that. And the other way is how you manually do this through things like Photoshop, a little bit of After Effects, and you can also do this within Premiere Pro. If you watched this far, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. My name is Peter. I help you become a better content creator. You're watching Broke Vision Collective. Make sure you grab all my resources, whether you want to learn how to be a better content creator, you want to learn how to make money freelancing, or you just want to learn how to make things look cool and so you don't look like a complete beginner. All my resources in the description below. You're watching Broke Virginia Collective, where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something.